Every year, more than 100,000 people make their way down to South Florida for five days to attend the largest in-water boat show in the world. Fort Lauderdale is a boating capital of the United States, and some would argue the world. And it is here where 642 exhibitors showcase the latest and greatest in yachts, boats, toys, and marine technology and accessories. In 2021, Nautical Ventures was the largest exhibitor with 64 boats in display at Bahia Mar Marina and the recently expanded and renovated Broward Convention Center. So how exactly are so many yachts and boats staged in such a short period of time? You're about to find out. In today's episode, we will take you behind the scenes and show you all the planning, logistics, and teamwork required to stage more than 60 boats and a whole lot of marine toys and personal crafts. Oh, and there's a 40,000 gallon indoor pool as well. So sit back, relax, and please hit that like button and subscribe if you have not already. It supports the channel and recommends this video to other boaters. Feel free to skip ahead by navigating the chapters below the video. Now let's get this boat show ready. Planning for the show began more than six months ago. With moving day beginning tomorrow, Alejandro pays a visit upstairs to management to get briefed on the layout of the show. I'm Roger Moore, CEO of Nautical Ventures, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about the planning that's gone into this upcoming 2021 Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. The convention center has just expanded uh, about 40% in size, and we've been able to uh, put our AquaZone pool, which is normally outside the convention center, inside the convention center. This is a pretty unusual change for us because uh, we're a little nervous about putting 40,000 gallons of water in the middle of the convention center. We've created a new concept now of the European Pavilion. Also, this will be the debut of Windy Boats from Sweden. This is what we're envisioning as far as the layout of the uh, D'Antonio booth. So the Aqua Zone will be a 40,000 gallon Pool. Everything that we represent for water sports toys will be located in this area. We are the biggest exhibitor. We have a total of 47,000 square feet, 65 boats, including tenders, in the show. We will also be representing 29 different vendors. So that's the convention center. We move over to Bahia Mar, which will be a short bus ride. So this is going to become kind of tender city. Then we move out to the docks where many of the other yachts will be. We're going to have two Axopars and two Ant uh, D'Antonios. So this is quite an undertaking for Nautical Ventures. The logistics in bringing all this together, we actually start moving in tomorrow and the show doesn't start until a week from Wednesday. So it's 10 days of moving in, setting up the pool, filling the pool and moving the boats in. We've got it all nailed down and uh, we hope that it will go smoothly. But because of the pandemic, there is a manufacturing shortage of boats and engines. Traditionally, manufacturers would send demo boats to the shows. However, this year, the sales team has to get creative in sourcing most of the boats. Hi, my name is uh, Ian Salez. I'm the sales manager from the Fort Lauderdale store. This year, the biggest challenge is to move uh, 64 boats to the boat show. Most of them, they are already sold. So we have to create some relation with the uh, relationship with the customers to be able to get those boats at the show. So of course it's a really uh, stressful week because we need to move all those boats and that implies a lot of meetings, teamwork, staff, from sales to uh, service. All that combined makes a lot of uh, stress every day, every morning. <laughs> the goal this year is to be the biggest exhibitor at the show and uh, to be able to have all those customers uh, on board with us. With all the boats accounted for, it is now time to begin the moving process. The team assembles the next day at the marina before dawn to move four boats over to Bahia Mar by water. Usually this would take about 45 minutes, but because some of the boats are too large, they need to navigate the long way up the South Fork New River, a challenging route with a lot of obstacles and narrow passageways. After more than two hours, the convoy makes it to the marina, where they await for clearance to dock. Okay, so we made it to Bahia Mar. Right now, we are waiting outside. We have to be called in by the dog masters, supposedly at 9 a.m. Right now, it is 8.15, so we have a little bit of time. So, 
we are lined up right here. We have the D28, we have the D42 over there. And then where is the 28 axle part? It is right there. And of course, I'm on the 37 Santa. Okay guys, so it is 9 a.m. We are about to head in. We were waiting for one of the other manufacturers to arrive, so that's them. We have HCB over there heading in. And then once they're in, we are up next. Almost there. After the HCBs pull in, Alejandro and the crew get the radio clearance to dock one boat at a time. Boat show deckhands help make the process smooth and efficient, helping wrap up the first move-in day at Bahia Mar before noon. However, most of the boats, including the massive 44-foot Windy, will be on display inside the convention center. The remaining move-in days will be much more demanding for sure. Four days later, the crew is once again assembled before dawn at the marina. Only this time, they will be trailering and staging five Axopar boats to the Broward Convention Center. After a successful move-in with the sailfish boats the day before, the crew is feeling confident and excited. Luckily, it's only a 15-minute drive. However, unloading and staging the boats indoors is a much more delicate and time-consuming process that requires a lot of communication and precision. Alright guys, welcome to day three of the 65 boat move-in. It's Friday morning and we are bringing in the Axopars. So right now, they're, ready to, they're getting ready to head in and we're gonna show you the procedure of what it is to get these boats inside the showroom. So right now, all the axopars are lining up. We got the 28 TT, we got the 37 cross cabin, we have the 28 cabin, we have the 37 sun top. This is our new demo boat for Nautical Ventures and it's got the Mediterranean Sea package. And then all the way at the end, we got the new Joe B22 T top. All right, so we get here, what time is it, like 7.50? It is 7.52. Okay, so we beat the forklift drivers in. That's always the first goal. So what we're gonna do is the first round at nine o'clock is Axopars in this booth right behind us. Uh, so that'll take a while because we bring those in, we're gonna put those on cradles, and then we actually have to manually roll them into place, and then we'll hard set them with uh, actually floor jacks and blocks so that we can bring them down to the stage level so that it's a, a perfectly even platform. Then we're gonna get a little later in the day and about one o'clock, we're gonna start bringing in the Starcraft booth and then hopefully we can get blue water in at two. So we have 18 boats to move in the next few hours. So that's the procedure so far. We're going pretty big this year, pretty all out. We have this entire area is going to be ours primarily. So starting off, we have the aqua zone. So we have a 40,000 gallon pool that is supposed to get filled up today. We have our sailfish booth. So we moved all these boats in yesterday. So this was empty. And now we have all the boats over here. So over here, we're gonna have Starcraft boats and pontoons. Over here, we're gonna have blue water boats. Over here, we're gonna have D'Antonio yachts. And then if you walk with me, check that out. This entire area is what we're gonna be calling the European Pavilion. We're going to have Axopar boats. We're going to have D'Antonio boats. We're going to have Windy, and then we're gonna have Beneteau. So it's pretty cool that we finally get to have a boat show where we have all the brands that we represent all close together. This boat show is massive. Like, I don't think you guys understand how big it is for us, especially coming from last year. So last year was my first uh, Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. And I was actually selling tenders back then. I wasn't in the, involved in the fiberglass team or as involved as I am now with uh, the entire team. So it's pretty cool how all of, these, all of this has come together. Massive operation, massive logistics, and a lot of teamwork. George, you are the, one of the most important people when it comes to moving boats into the showroom. So what has this experience been for you? I know it's been a lot of days, a lot of uh, work, a lot of early wake-ups. There are a lot of boats. There are a lot of preparation because you can bring just a boat here without clean, prepared, with fenders, cushions, whatever you need. Okay. You have to be extremely, extremely careful for the boats because they have to be new, no scratches, no damages, and ready for showing to the customer. And this has been the biggest boat show you've done to date, right? Yes. 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 65 plus boats that you 
had to ensure that they were all prepared in time. All to prepare and be perfect for sewing, for sale. While the crew is busy staging the boats, a second team arrives to begin setting up the aqua zone and water sports exhibit. We've got all kinds of stuff. Basically everything you see here and more. We've got, I think we have like one more large trailer full coming. So, I mean, kayaks, paddle boards, inflatable ones, rigid, the sea bobs, the naughty buoy, you know, electric engines. Schiller bikes, the foil boards, the U-Jet, which is the jet powered uh, surfboard. So all the fun stuff. So with the AquaZone this year, I mean, basically everything we have here, we're gonna showcase in the pool at different times so that uh, everyone can see how the products work. They look great on land, but you know, they really sell themselves in the water when people see how much fun they are. So uh, when we set up the pool, you know, from start to finish, it's about a three day process to fill up. So we just finished loading up all the axle pars, so that's it for today. Now we're heading back to the office. We still have to sell some boats, but we'll be back tomorrow first thing to get you guys the Beneteau moving, the Wendy moving, and the D'Antonio moving. Good morning guys, welcome to Saturday. So we are heading down to the convention center right now. We just got word that the Windy SR44 and the SR28CC have just arrived and they are actually bringing them in inside the showroom right now. We're really excited about this boat. We've been waiting for it for a while and it's the biggest boat that we sell. It's the SR44 from Windy. So another level of luxury, another level of performance and build quality. So I'm really, really excited to be able to be a part of this brand and to bring it, uh, be the first to bring it into the US. This is the boat that we're gonna strive for at the, at the boat show. So I know that everybody's gonna be on top of this one. Everybody's want to sell this one, uh, primarily because it's the million plus dollar boat. Good morning. So while I take a minute and choose which donut I'm gonna eat, Please take a minute to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Boat show runs on Duncan. So yesterday while we weren't here, uh, they did went ahead and they did load up some of the Benetos. So we have the entire 27 and then we have the Flyer 10 already on display. They also brought in blue water boats and then all the way behind that we have the Starcraft boats. All right, so today we arrived here at 8 a.m. We had a 28 D'Antonio to unload a 34 D'Antoni to unload, we have a 44 Wendy that we're unloading, and we have a 28 Wendy. So the 44 is a huge deal. It's gonna take four of the biggest lifts that they have. We're gonna hard set it right away because we can't put it on dollies and move it. Then we're gonna do the 28 Wendy next. Then we're gonna do the 34 D'Antonio and then the 28. So our hope is that from a hard unload standpoint, we're gonna be done closer to 12 or one today. Yesterday we got through 18 boats. We actually got a couple extra in last minute that weren't expected. So hopefully today will be a little smoother and quicker. Yesterday we were here a long time, but we got a lot of stuff moved, no damages, and uh, everyone's still here working, so it's all good. Okay guys, so they just finished setting up the SR44 Windy. It took a little bit over an hour. A lot of work going into it, but the end result is awesome. And now we're getting ready for the SR28, which is gonna go right next to that. All right, so I'm getting this boat prepped for a walkthrough video for you guys. So stay tuned for that and make sure to watch that in the description below. We'll have all the hard unloads done today with the boats and Sunday we're going to start outfitting the booths. This is where we start bringing in plants, TVs, couches. We're going to finish all the stagings, the electrics, lay in the rest of the carpet. So then Monday we're going to start finishing up in the aqua zone. So we started unloading all the kayaks and the toys. The, they will continue to arrive today. And starting through Monday, hopefully we'll finish inside the convention center. And then Tuesday, we start all over again. We have 40 boats that have to be moved at the BHMR. Most of them are yacht tenders. And so we're gonna start this whole process and keep moving forward to what we do. After a long day with all the boats finally settled in place, Alejandro proceeds to unwrap the Windy 44. We shot the whole process, so we'll leave a link in the description below if you'd like to check it out. So it's Tuesday afternoon. We just had our final sales meeting before the show starts. So we had everybody here, including everybody from the Tampa and Sarasota store. Also some of the people from the North Palm Beach store. The Windy, it's a new brand for us. So we were all here trying to get a little bit more 
familiarized with them and just getting everybody ready and motivated for tomorrow. So come tomorrow, we'll be all set and have all the boats on display ready to go. All right, so we're sitting here at Tuesday, about 4 p.m. So we're one day before show opens and we are kind of in the final stretches of all the chaos here in the convention center. So we did final show prep for the Sailfish, D'Antonio, Windy, Axopar, Benito booth, as well as all of the Aqua Zone. So we're still building sailboats, we're still getting POP in. We still have done uh, sateen around, we're getting stairs, more furniture, more plants. Tomorrow morning, we're actually gonna arrive about 7.30 as well. This will be our final cleaning day. We already have a full cleaning team on all the boats right now, but we'll still do final vacuuming, spot cleaning, spot checking, brochures, all the details that kind of make the final touches look really sharp. And we'll do the same thing at BMR and we'll be running all the way up until show starts at noon. I guarantee you from the setup side, we'll be here at 11.59, but we'll, we'll make sure we're ready. The first day of the boat show begins with a morning briefing at Nautical Ventures headquarters where each seller is assigned the specific location to work. Alejandro is assigned the D'Antonio outdoor booth in Bahia Mar. Hey guys, welcome to the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. It's day one. Today we are in the Bahia Mar booth. So we have D'Antonio and Axopar in the water. We have the D28 Explorer. Behind us, we have the D42 open. So one of our flagship models on the water today. On the other side, we have the Axopar booth. So we have the Axopar 37 sun top, and then we have an Axopar 28 T-top. So Wednesday is usually a slow day. Usually you find a lot of people traveling from out of state that they come down or interested buyers that you've been talking to for a while. Uh, so they take advantage of Wednesday, which is, which is the the slowest day to, to come and be able to interact uh, more with us. Regardless, it's good. It allowed me to go over the boats in detail and record some videos for you guys. Boat show looks good this year. A lot of manufacturers out there, completely different than last year. Uh, 2020 for Lauder International Boat Show was so small compared to this. Uh, so I'm excited that we're able to finally get back to the traditional boat shows where we're able to have all these boats in one place. Today I was placed in the D'Antonio and the Axopar booth uh, out in the water tomorrow. Thursday we'll be covering the convention centers. It's almost time to go and recharge some batteries for tomorrow. Day number two, everything is smooth and, and what? Peachy, <laughs> just peachy. So uh, how many boats did you sell uh, yesterday? No comment. <laughs> two boats? Maybe. Oh no, one you share with uh, Richard. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, traffic is so-so. It's Thursday, so it's not as bad as it is going to be on the weekend. Um, but yeah, obviously it's more collapsed than what it usually is. So luckily we're not going over the bridge today. We're going to make a right over at the convention center. Can I take a selfie with you because you're famous? Okay, so it is day two of the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. We are inside the convention center today. We have the European Pavilion, which we are exhibiting the new windy boats. We have a full lineup of Axopar. We have a 28 cabin, a 37 cross cabin. We also have the, the little brother, the 22 Joe B package uh, with a T-top. We have the Sun Top 37 with the new Mediterranean package, beautiful boat. We have the 28 TT as well. Uh, moving left of that, we have a Beneteau display where we have the Flyer 10, a very popular model here in South Florida. And next to that, we have the Antares 27 for those looking for a closed uh, pilot house style boat. And over here in the Windy booth, we have the SR44 and the SR28, both of these models making their USA debut. Right here, we have the D'Antonio D34 Cruiser. And then we also have the D28 open. To my right side, we have the blue water display. So if you're that hardcore fishing man, fisherman looking for a good, solid fishing boat, 
Blue Waters. They're a good boat. They're good quality boats. They're built really well. And again, they're oriented for that hardcore fishing fisherman. If you want something a little bit simpler, we do have StarCraft deck boats and StarCraft pontoon boats on that side as well. And then next of that, if you're a family uh, guy that wants to do some uh, fishing as well, but you want to have some comfort features for the wife and the kids, Sailfish Boats is on display as well. And we have a good variety of those models for available immediate delivery. Next to that, we have that awesome 40,000 gallon pool called the Aqua Zone. We have a lot of water toys in the water uh, being tested and being displayed as well. Hello everyone, welcome to 2021 Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. If you're hearing this, you are in or around the Aqua Zone. We will be having demos going on all day long. We have a lot of toys to choose from. Come check us out here at Nautical Ventures. We are the go-to people for fun on the water. We have everything from kayaks to cruise ship. If it floats, we have it. Come say hi to us. And if you have any questions, flag someone down in orange. We'd be more than happy to help you and enjoy yourselves. Hey, what's going on? We're here at the Aqua Zone. We're all set up now. We got demos going on in the pool. We've got quite a few toys going on. Everything's going great. Getting a lot of foot traffic. Doing the best we can out here. The water's a little cold, but it's great. Today's been pretty cool. We have a lot of faction, a lot of people walking through the boats, a lot of people approaching us about the design, the European style boats, that they really like it. Obviously they see something like the traditional center console fishing boat and they see a D'Antonio or they see a Windy or even an Axopar and they go like, huh, this looks a little bit different. So that's what we try to offer here, especially in the European pavilion. Most of the European boats, uh, boats that stand out, that are different, have different qualities than the regular American uh, manufactured boat. This is the uh, second day of the uh, Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. Things are going great. Actually, is by far our best show so far. So the plan of the show was, I will be honest, difficult. Uh, obviously, being the largest exhibitor uh, has its challenges, uh, but it's been great to see all the team here uh, the day before the show, uh, to see all the 18, 20 boats together on the road, all the orange here doing the training sessions. It was amazing. Honestly, we are super proud of our team. We brought all our people from all our locations. We have five locations, uh, Tampa, Sarasota, Stewart, Fort Lauderdale. What I like the most about the Bow Show is having everyone together here, all, all the team, plus our CEO, the vice president, the general managers, everyone together, the same place. I think that's the most ex exciting thing. All right, well, here we are in the convention center. This has uh, been a long time in the planning. What makes it so exciting for me is that the actualization and the final product has exceeded our expectation. So it's been a phenomenal team effort to bring all of these boats together, get all the displays together, and the successes, the number of people that are in our booth, the excitement that we're getting from press and from the customers and from our vendors. We're truly excited. This is our biggest undertaking with 65 boats in the show and a, a total of 47,000 square feet of exhibit space that Nautical Ventures occupies, representing all of the premium brands that we carry. So we're just absolutely thrilled. I love this shot between the Mercury engines. You have no idea <clears throat> that an outboard engine could be t taller than a person can reach. Well, next year we're planning uh, the uh, Miami Boat Show We'll have uh, all of these boats present at the Miami Boat Show, and of course the Palm Beach Show that's in March. So February is uh, Miami Show, and March, end of March, is the Palm Beach Boat Show, and then we'll start all over again. We hope you enjoyed this exclusive behind the scenes of Nautical Ventures staging of the 2021 Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. Please remember to click the like and subscribe button if you haven't already, and let us know what was the coolest thing you learned by commenting below. Thank you for watching.